Welcome back, frugal friends. Today, the last of this weekend's amazing, somewhat overwhelming, dumpster salvaged picks from the retail bins. We've got this whole load of stuff to go through, plus over here on the newly finished floor, there is this bag that I'm keeping tied up. I'm gonna put on the porch here in a minute, but it is potting soil. Many of you know I love gardening, I love flowers, all things uh, decorative, so super excited to find that it will definitely be used. Oh, where to start? Uh, I had it pretty well organized, but I wanted to keep all of it on this dumpster tablecloth, which, did we find that at Zurcher's? I think so, uh, this last weekend. But then I started getting overwhelmed because there was just so darn much. So I'm going to do a little more sorting as we go along, just so I'm not doing the same work twice. So right here, we have all of these bottles of hand soap, which is perfect because we are almost out of hand soap. All of them, you know, need a little bit of tidying up. That's no big deal. Stay tuned for our update video and I will show you that we have gotten them all cleaned up. Gives me some accountability. There is a thing of speed stick deodorant. There is a bottle of body wash. We'll also get that cleaned up. Then we've got some cards. These ones we are offering out to neighbors, family, and friends. These ones, subtraction and Mickey playing cards, we'll keep for us. Then there's these, and I'm going to be surprising some of our viewers, some of our subscribers who have entered in contests before. I'm going to be uh, surprising some of you with some of these really fun uh, The Good Dinosaur cards. Stay tuned for that. We'll talk more later, but that's part of our big anniversary celebration. Then we've got several boxes of the Swiss rolls. There were more than this, but the kids have already started having some. Some more of the powdered donuts, some Chester's Flamin' Hot Fries, tons of tortillas, and actually we've already gone through two or three bags of them because Olivia has been making the most delicious quesadillas, embracing our Mexican heritage. My mom showed her how to make them the right way and Olivia has been making a whole bunch of them and it has been fabulous they are delicious so we're gonna get these put away in the freezer there are some dippers little breadsticks with cheese some cat food I will give that to my mom for her cats uh, let's see I'll try to go through this in some semblance of order there are some cleaning gloves, snack bags, sandwich bags. This is awesome. A whole bunch of Mickey and the Roadster Racers paper cups. How freaking cool is that? We love Disney. These are super fun. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with them. I don't want to put them in the bathroom and get us used to having little disposable cups because that's not something that we're going to start doing regularly because it's just really wasteful and not very environmentally conscious. So I'm trying to think of something else to do with these, especially with our upcoming Disneyland trip. If you have ideas, please let us know in the comments. I was thinking maybe using some of our dumpster cellophane and putting together little daily surprise gifts for the kids, maybe as like a countdown to Disneyland or while we're there. I don't know. We'll see. Some cover-ups. These are basically like hair <laughs> one of the, those hair things that you you put over your hair in the shower but some genius decided to start using them as you know cover-ups for your dishes of salad or other leftovers such a great idea my fabulous amazing grandmother-in-law who was a hairstylist for years and years she actually used just the regular hair cover things for the same purpose she should be getting royalties for this uh, some more gloves, and these ones are pink. Let's see. Oh, some forks. Some foil sheets. Whole bunch of aluminum foil. We will not have to buy aluminum foil for some time. That is awesome. Just another example of how dumpster diving saves us money on our household goods, and those savings then can go towards uh, more fun kinds of things or towards other bills and etc etc 
whole bunch of, well, not a whole bunch, what, three boxes of Valentines. No, four boxes of Valentines. And we have so many Valentines already that we've, like, gotten on, like, 25-cent clearance. We have more than we will need for the rest of the kids' elementary school experience. So I will probably share these. We have some cotton swabs, a package of assorted red plastic cutlery. Um, let's see. I think, oh, did I show you the scrubby? Well, there's a scrubby. All right, I think I'm going to get this stuff tidied up and then we will Moving continue along. on. Okay, these two little totes are from the bins. I think they were both cracked somewhere, maybe. Oh, this one doesn't look like it is, but I think that one was. Oh, yeah, right there. Then we've got this light bulb. This uh, one of them was broken. I went ahead and shook all the broken parts out, so there's one. Some uh, car air fresheners. These little lids, they're really cute. I have no idea what we'll do with them. We'll go ahead and wash them and then come up with something. There is a... Uh, this phone holder, that is really cute. There is a little lantern, a little handheld lantern. We will try that out on Saturday, so stay tuned for that. Another light bulb, again, one of them was broken, shook out all those broken parts, and we'll just add these to our light bulb supply. There is a lighter, it looks like the end got kind of smushed. We will see if we can pound that back into a uh, place and if it will still work. We'll try that on Saturday. Several candles, there's this one, and then a whole bunch of the little tea lights. There is uh, a type C USB cord. We'll see if we have something we can test that with amongst our many electronics. Uh, this is some kind of charger for, um, I wonder if what that part's for. Hmm. Looks like you can plug something in there. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, it doesn't, it's not the kind that would fit any of our devices, I don't think, but we'll see. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be like a little speaker. We'll see if that works. A screwdriver, uh, um, a flickering electric tea light, and the tag has not been pulled yet, so that's awesome. Uh, nail clippers, the thingy that was with it is broken, so this will probably just go in metal scrap. A cute little car, we'll add that to our collection of cars. There is a little flashlight, and these are the batteries that go with it, so super awesome. There are four of these flower holder things, and I have found these many times before, and I wasn't even going to grab them because I've always just ended up recycling them because I had nothing to use them for, but Olivia was with me, and she grabbed them, so I'm trying to think of something to do with them. Do you guys have any ideas? Otherwise, they're going again into the recycling, but I'd like to think of something, so please share your ideas in the comments. Okay, there is a uncork and unwind. It's probably... Uh, was for, you know, like a gifting some wine or something. I don't know. I'll come up with something to do with it. You know I do like my wine. There is a little pack of twinkly lights. We'll test those. A three-pack of awesome little terracotta jars. Looks like one of them is broken, just one. So we'll add that to our Crocs collection for uh, using as drainage in planted uh uh, potted plants and then these other two we can plant something in and use some of that potting soil that we found little plastic bowl cup thing there are a whole bunch of these these are so fantastic they are for putting beads or paints or legos or we've used a lot of them for american girl crafting projects so there's some of the larger ones this is such a great find and smaller ones i'll get all of those gathered up so awesome. There is some Play-Doh. Whole bunch of glitters. Look at all of these fabulous glitters. Oh, I'm so happy. You know I love me some glitter. Those are fantastic. There is a package of beads. We'll add those to our bead collection. There's some more glitter. There are some stickers. Look at these. Oh my gosh, aren't they gorgeous? They are dragonflies. And that just happens to be 
um, kind of the icon thing for my best friend and I, my best girlfriend. So I'm thinking I'm going to keep one for me and then I'm going to make something. I'm not sure what, but some kind of crafty thing to give to her. There is this. It is miss missing the little plastic things. They're like uh, sun catchers, but it has the other parts. There is a highlighter. A whole bunch of stickers, Valentine stickers. We'll save those for next year. There is some glitter glue, a tassel. These uh, are some album stickers, Incredibles 2. We actually have just been watching Incredibles 2 about a hundred times. Finally decided to take a break from watching Incredibles 2. So fun. Uh, these are fantastic. Some Tsum Tsum stickers. Love them. Some letter stickers. Look at this. I'm going to surprise Mariah with this one. I think I'm going to add it to our prize box for when they do their piano practice every day. So super cool. This is a packet of pretty small construction paper. This is a Color Your Own mini books. Oh, that's cool. That might be another one for Mariah. Another prize option. I think that's all of that, but these, these are super cool. That is so awesome. I don't know that there's enough for like one of the kids for their class, but between these and the Valentines that we found in the Zercher's party bin, we should have enough. Yeah, we should have plenty. Okay, there is a little Valentine's heart, or not heart, flower thing. It's obviously missing something right there, but with all the goodies we have found, that will not be hard to repair and make look awesome. Here is a bag of soldiers. These will be a prize for Reagan for piano. So cool. This is some kind of little baseball thing. It's missing the thing on top. We'll probably recycle that. Thing is, this would be like a perfect size for an American girl. So maybe I'll just clip that part off. Maybe. We'll see. Um, a little ball. Looks like it got part of it chewed out. But Reagan has been wanting a Nerf style ball for his little basketball hoop that's over his door in his room. So I am going to give him that. He won't mind that it's got that little piece torn out. A little squishy uh, panther. Some of this stuff. There's another tea light candle. Some glasses. Many of you know I have been collecting all the broken glasses that we find. These ones are not broken. I don't know what the problem is here. Maybe they're just missing the tag. Super duper cute. These are totally the kind that I would wear. But anyways, uh, I am going to be doing a crafting project with, the, with uh, the broken ones. These ones that are not broken, however, we'll see if we can find someone to donate those to. There is a little cat. Is this a cat ball or is that like a prize? There's something in there. Hmm, I don't know. But speaking of cats and cat toys, there are two of these. Where is the other one? There it is. And I will be giving these to my mom along with that cat food for her kitty cats. Have fun. They will love those, I think. There's a bunch of this white plastic chain that they use to hang things on for, you know, to display in the store, but we can use it for all kinds of other purposes. There is a reusable ice, a rose, a poinsettia. We have oh, some cheerleader pom-poms. There's one. And then here's the other. Just got to tape that back on. That could be yet another prize for piano. Oh, keep going. Here is a lanyard. A fun headband with flowers and uh, ladybugs. One of these fans. There's another one here. And we find lots of these and where they've just come unglued a little bit. And generally, Olivia has taken and used the fabric for other projects, but I'm thinking we're going to repair a few of these and use them on uh, on the walls in the girls' bedroom. I think that would be really cute. Some hair ponytails, a brain teaser game. This will probably be one of our monthly giveaway prizes, so stay tuned for that. Uh, a fun little pair of sunglasses. These will be great to take to Disneyland with us. A random plastic bottle, fridge bottle. It is missing the lid. We'll see if any of the lids we have happen to fit that. 
some hair ponies or headbands rather. We'll just wash those. These are super fun. Just a headband with sparkly stars. Two shovels. They were from, you know, uh, beach buckets, but the buckets were broken. So we just kept the shovels. Those come in handy. We have some heart uh, Valentine's bubbles. We'll put these with the other Valentine's stuff. So there'll be plenty of prizes to go along with the kids' Valentine's next year. There's another one. There are some hearts, sparkly heart bouquet. A gift card gift tin has a little tiny scratch. There is a bubble fun bubble blower and the bubbles, there they are, there's the bubbles. So yet another potential piano prize. These are bubble fun um, bubble wands and obviously the handles are broken off, but I don't know. I think we can still use them. We shall see. Okay, then over here, mountains of Butterfingers. Holy cow, holy Butterfingers. Tons and tons of them. We will put them in the freezer. These can be more piano prizes. Whole bunch of random chocolates and treats. Those can all go in the freezer. What I like to do with these is uh, when I'm baking something, just chop these up and use them in place of chocolate chips. Okay, I'm gonna get all this stuff put away and then we will look at the last few goodies. Oh, at last, we are down to the last little bit, hallelujah. There is a sort of broken pair of glasses. We'll add those to my art project. A little blank red bag that you could do all kinds of crafts with. Several, let's see, okay, there's a pair of gloves right there and then a random glove and another random glove. We can hold on to them and see if we find matches as we often do because we find so darn many or they can go in the fabric recycling. Either way, there is a pack of socks right there, brand new socks, we'll just wash those and a couple pair of black socks, brand new, we'll wash those. This is random. It's some really cute flamingo fabric. I don't know what it went to. At first I thought it was a bag, but it's not sewn shut on either end. It's just like a, kind of like a tube. I'm wondering, is that supposed to be like an infinity scarf? It's a little thin for that, but maybe. I don't know. We'll try it. There is a really fun iridescent headband. You know I'm going to wear that. That is fantastic. There are two more of these pillowcases. We have found several of these lately. We just wash them and donate them uh, because we have been working on going through all of our bedding and we just have too much. So I don't want to keep them. We will donate them to someone who can use them. There is a little Valentine's Love Every Moment sign and the cheap little plastic thing that's in it is broken, but we have so many dowels. Yeah, we will replace that. That is fine. And we will fix the hangy part of it. We'll save that for next Valentine's. There are four packets of filler, which you can use in gifts or in your Easter baskets. Awesome. We'll just tape those closed because all of them are open. That's why they were thrown away. And we'll put those with our gifting supplies. We will also put this super awesome bag with our gifting supplies. It is a gift bag with a fun tag. And it's shaped like a like a tote bag. Super duper cute. Uh, we also have this really fun gift box. Love it. And this see-through gift box. That's way fun. We'll add those to our gifting supplies. And finally, last but certainly not least, and certainly the most time consuming, all of the cards and envelopes and some nice kind of tag board, red tag board that we salvaged from the bins. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. So I am going to be sharing these with family, friends, and neighbors. I've already had a few people claim some. I will save a little bit for us, but not very many. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And just tons of envelopes. So with the envelopes, I will probably put together a batch of them and offer those as one of our exclusive Patreon patron uh, purchasing options. We shall see. Or I will sell them in like a, um, a big lot on eBay. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe even do some for one of our monthly little giveaways. 
but holy cow, tons and tons and tons. I will be excited to get these moved and on their way. My goodness, frugal friends, it was a crazy, wonderful, fabulous, productive, lucrative weekend. Oh, I almost forgot you, little Easter baskets. So these are little buckets. I don't know why I said baskets. Well, because Easter. And most of them, it's like the handles are broken. And then like this one, the lip is cracked a little. But these are going to be awesome for putting some of my plants in. I do that... Um, with other, like, uh, at Halloween, we've done that with some of the Halloween, um, candy buckets and stuff. We just set some of the potted plants inside and it looks so cute. So I'm going to break off all these broken parts and clean these up and we will use them to put some of our potted plants in. That is it. We are done. I'm going to get this cleaned up. Happy diving, happy picking. Thank you for doing your part in the mission of saving and salvaging. We will see you all very soon.